I've been experimenting with the X-Pan setting on my Hasselblad X1D recently, but I'm challenging myself to look for subjects that aren't traditional pano type subjects. These are some recent examples. This last photo of flood rubble fascinated me because it's such an unusual subject. About a week ago, I was walking in my local park when I came upon this massive pile of old trees and rubble and scraps that had been collected by floodwaters. Can you imagine the power to move trees as large as these? I wanted to share this in a video, but I didn't really get enough footage, so I resolved myself to return for more video and more context. But in the meantime, this happened. By the way, there will be a detailed look at a few of the files near the end of the video, so stick around if you like seeing the black and whites in detail on screen. Now like I said, I'm trying to push the boundaries of what constitutes a pano. Admittedly, this one doesn't work, but that's what experimentation is all about, right? We are heading back to the flood rubble, but I'll be looking for subjects along the way. Can I make a successful panorama of this tree? Let's find out. This is a side channel off the main river. Mostly it's only a few inches deep, but it's knee deep in places. I've never walked on frozen water in the south before, but I did walk on a frozen lake much larger than this in Wisconsin once. Even though the screen says f4.5, I shot most of these at f14. Okay, let's head on down river. First, a quick detour to see if anybody's home.
Okay, y'all, maybe my imagination is running away with me, but it almost looks like a creature trapped inside that tree, doesn't it? This one really doesn't work, I have to admit. The background is just too chaotic and distracting. And finally, here we are, the rubble heap that brought me back here. The photograph I shot was on the other side of it.
I like this a lot, but I'm unsure about the bright spot of daylight showing through. I may go back and shoot it from a slightly higher angle to remove that, but then I'll just be looking at a black hole, so I'm not sure. And my battery's exhausted. It's the only one I own, so we're done for today. Okay, let's take a look at a few of these files in Photoshop. First is the shot of the flood rubble. I don't know why, but I think this shot is epic. The light is great and there's a nice balance of detail and shadows. And it's a very unusual idea for a landscape photograph. I know the snow looks blown out here, but there's detail in there. I like the way the texture in the rocks was rendered. The background here is so noisy and busy that I balanced it out or actually tried to overpower it with the large white solids at the base of the photo. I love that little detail there where the snow tapers off on the surface of the ice under the big rock. I really enjoy shooting the textures of old weathered wood like this. We have to be careful in the close-ups because discoloration in the wood and things like moss and lichens can become ugly distractions. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.